In this video, we will create a unique customer identity from customer profile data collected from Salesforce CRM and AWS S3. For this, we will be using Identify Resolution Rule Sets. In this step, we are going to use the Identity Resolution functionality of Data Cloud to create a unified profile of the customers. Before doing that, let us understand what kind of data has been mapped to the key profile DMOs. For that, we're going to use Query Editor, going with the same Data Exploration Query Editor. Let us look at the individual records that have been created. Go to the Profile and the Data Model Objects go to Individual. These are the fields we have got the last name, first name, and other fields. Let us query. This time, we are going to order the output of this query. So let's use order by let's say firstly and run a query. We'll see that there are many customers with the same or similar first name records. There are many individual records with same or similar first name, so there is a potential that they are the same person, they have the same profile. Let's look at some other information, go to related. Let's look at email addresses. So we go to contact point email object. Add query. Again, we are going to use order by email address. Let's run the query. You will notice that there are many contact point email records with the same email address. So potentially, these are the same customers. And lastly, let us look at party identification. Let's query. Let's order by identification number. Let's run a query. So there are records with a similar or same party identification number and even the identification name is matching. For example, customer reward number. Then there are some of them with the passport number, but the same passport number, which means that these are potentially the same customers. So which means in general, we are going to use individual their first name, contact point, email and the identification number and identification name to create unified profile of the customers. Now with this analysis, let us start creating the identity solution records. I go to Identity Resolution. Open it in a new tab so that I can refer to this data analysis that we have done in the Query Editor. Click New. The primary data model is going to be individual. We have not mapped anything on the account object. Keep the rule set ideas blank. Next, let's give the rule set name as main. Description is optional. These are the objects in which data will be created unified individual, unified individual contact, email, phone address, and unified individual party identification. Let's save this as bin, An identity resolution main is created. Let us configure the matching rules. Go to Match Rules. Click Configure. Click Next. Let us add First Matching Group. Click Configure. Let's use First Matching Rule which is fuzzy name and normalized email. So all those customers who have a fuzzy name or a similar sounding name and the same email address will be considered as the same customers. Click next. So here the first name is matching, method is fuzzy. Last name should be exact and email address coming from contact point email should be exact normalized. So this is the first rule that we have created but we also know that there are customers who have same party identification. Going back to the query editor, as there are customers with the same identification number and identification name. Let's use that and create a new rule. Let's save this first, let's edit it. Let's add another room, add a matching rule. This time, we are going to use a custom rule. Select custom rule, click next. Let's use the object party identification, field identification number, and method is exact match. The identification type will be identifier. We have given the same party identification type for all records and a party identification name. Let's use customer reward number. Let's give this a name, same customer reward number. Click next. We know that there are two identifiers, customer reward number and passport number. Let's add another matching rule. Custom rule, object party, identification field, identification number. Exact match identification type will still be identifier. Identification name will be passport number. Same passport number. All of them are considered as same customers. Let us save this. Rule set is getting published. It's a batch process, so it takes a bit of a time while it is doing that. Let us look at these warnings. It says that the matching rules. We want to add more matching rules. Let's ignore that. 
but we should we should look at this warning, which says select a supported reconciliation rule for the ID fields, especially in the individual object. So let's look at individual object. By default, their conciliation rule is last updated. So the individual record which was last updated is considered as the latest one and its values will be considered. Let us change that from last updated to source priority and let's give a priority to WSS3 above Salesforce contact object. Let us save this. So we are giving AEWSS3 higher priority as compared to Salesforce CRM. It'd be possible because the quality of data in AUS3 is probably better than CRM. Likewise, we can also consider that contact point email, you give them more priority to WSS3, so change that default reconciliation rule from most frequent to source parity and give a priority to email address list, which is coming from AUS and save it. The rule status is published. Job status is in progress, let us update the stats. The job is still in progress, let us see if we can run the rule set again. Click run rule set. No, because the job is still in progress. We can try it afterwards. It's a batch process, so it will take a bit of a time to process and update the status.